Hi, my name is John, I'm from thewatchhub.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to remove scratches from watches. So you've discovered a few scratches on your watch and uh, perhaps they're a little bit too deep to brasso out or do anything like that. Um, what we would uh, do at the watch hut is, um, particularly with the older watch, would be to use uh, the Dremel. Uh, some people have these in their homes, uh, it's just a different attachment perhaps to the ones that would come with it, uh, as you can see. Let's screw it off. That's a cotton wheel. What jewelers use. And we've got a new cotton wheel here and a shaping tool. And we've got three different sorts of uh, compound. Um, the red one we tend to use for gold. Uh, the blue one is for uh, watches with quite large dents in them. And the green one um, is quite good for shining, um, last, like a last polish. And it also is useful just for getting rid of small scratches. Um, if you, go, if, you do, if you do intend to use uh, this at any time, I would always um, suggest that you use the 3M mask and um, some safety goggles uh, in case anything sort of uh, shoots out at you. Um, the other thing I was going to say was, if you um, have a, a wash and you're not sure of the, the metal uh, style, then I would beware doing this kind of thing. In fact, I would, I would encourage you not to do it, um, because if it's a plated metal, um, particularly with the base metal underneath, it will just go brown and look quite unsightly. Uh, this is only really, I would say, just used to be used for like stainless steel cases of reasonably good quality. Um, or, as I say, for, for gold, if you can use gold. And um, Right, okay, so I'll, I'll get on with it now. Uh, and we've got the Dremel here. Uh, I would suggest you set the Dremel to between 10 and 15 on the power scale. And when you are doing your, just getting the scratches out to start with, I would use probably a cotton wheel that's been used before, just a little bit, uh, like so. And I would take your uh, compound of choice, which for this one would be a green, and turn it on, we'll just get a little bit on like so, as you can see. Um, I'm going to just apply it evenly to the area where the scratches are. And how long you do it for really depends how deep the scratches are, uh, how much of a problem there is on the watch, and I'll take a little closer look at that. I've polished it up. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's 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 done a pretty good job on it. Um, the only thing that can happen uh, if you use need to use quite a lot of um, compound is it can leave like a clouding effect on the uh, watch. And in those circumstances, what I would suggest you do is to take one of the heads off and use a fresh one and this is because there's no uh, compound actually sort of in the in the brush in, in the cotton itself apart from just that very slight bit you're going to use to shine it with and what happens is you get a, a more of a mirror finish uh, if you do it that way so you probably just see there's only a tiny bit on um, you see that one's gone black and yep fairly happy that that's got the scratches out uh, in the center there that we showed you at the start now you can see the scratches are removed on the left hand side of the case the dent at the bottom of the case um, will require a more advanced technique which I'll show you at a later time uh, so check out our YouTube channel for more watch related content I'm John from The Watch Out. Thanks for watching.